John. Yeah, guys, not just the major road, military road that's closed, but several roads around the neighborhood are as well. In fact, it is an early wake up call here along 138th. As you can see, they are uh, working on that large tree that came down here. We've heard chainsaws. Right now, they got the chipper working as well. So, not a lot of people probably getting sleep at this point around the area, but you can see they're working on. Uh, uh, putting a new pole up here. This is again up 138th. There is a pole they're working on on Military Road as well. And that means this, uh, this area, this road is going to be shut down for several more hours uh, between 135th on Military Road and 140th. We're told uh, a total of three power poles damaged here. Two people inside a car when the, the initial pole on Military Road came down and that draped power lines across that car is a dangerous situation. People inside the car, though, did the right thing. They didn't try to get out of their car. They stayed inside until help came. Crews able to de-energize those lines so then people could get out of that car. Nobody hurt here. It also caused a power outage for more than 3,000 homes at one point. That is down now under 300 homes right now. Uh, the pole that came down again is on military, but we've got two damaged poles up the street here, up 138th, as well as that down tree. So there's a lot of work to be done here. Uh, obviously, these roads are shut down. You can see these back roads, but obviously the big road for the morning commute and the evening commute looks like it's going to be shut down all day is military road between 135th and 140th. So with more on how to negotiate around all of this, let's check.